This is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best. I've got a commonly asked question that not not only occurs here in the practice, but at parties and all kinds of things, at uh, social gatherings that I'm at, and that is how much does this hair transplantation procedure cost? And I'll give you the cliff notes. In the metropolitan areas and with an expert surgeon, it's somewhere between $5 and $15, sometimes as low as $4. $4 to $15, let's say, per hair graft. It's usually done by the graft, and that's for a simple reason. If the more hairs you do, the more efficient it is for the hair transplantation center. We have, uh, in my center, three uh, hair cutting stations with microscopes, magnification, and special lighting. I hire the technicians. They're all expert. They're working on cutting the hairs into follicular units. If you do follicular unit extraction, they're cutting away the um, unneeded areas of fatty tissue, etc., to design the perfect graft for the hair that we're placing it in, and also separating the thicker hairs from the finer hairs. The finer hairs go along the frontal hairline, and in the temporal area, the thicker hairs go more in the crown area and in the, in the frontal portion of the scalp behind the frontal hairline. So those, those sorts of subtleties are what make the difference between fantastic outcomes and average outcomes or even poor outcomes in some cases. And I think the difference really for us is if we have three techs cutting hairs and assisting in preparing all that, assisting in the, in the transplantation while we're at the table, then that, whether they're there for an hour or they're there for five hours, really doesn't make that much difference. Getting them there, getting all the equipment set up, is really the main cost. So if you do, you know, two or three thousand grafts, which is a what we call a, a big session, uh, a mega session for hair, and that's enough to take a fairly bald guy in the frontal and temporal area, frontal and the crown areas, and make them not a bald guy anymore. Those I'll typically have three technicians, and they're very efficient in assisting and getting those hairs prepared, ready to go, and getting that hair transplanted. So when we do that, really the difference between 500 and 3,000 is really only time, and that's why we make people comfortable during the procedure and keep the cost down as much as we can so that it's a comfortable procedure that's affordable. The one caveat I would say with the newer hair transplantation, the techniques that are evolving, like the artist hair robot, which is an interesting technology and certainly come a long way in the last few years and I think we've got a way to go, but it's it's pretty exciting the advances they're making. The head is fixed in a very locked position. The robot uses a camera to sort of guide it and it takes its own punch graft, which is how we do FUE technique, where we harvest each hair individually, leaving behind a tiny little one millimeter uh, hole, if you will, in the back of the scalp where it'll heal by itself. And that robot does the same thing and then transfers the hair to a predetermined area uh, in the front of the scalp or along the hairline. Exciting. It's got some limitations to it. It's a little bit more expensive. But in general, I think uh, with the hair transplant being in the less than 2000 range, you can, you can see quotes as low as $15,000 for the robot. Certainly much more expensive than it would be for us doing uh, that many hairs for in, in our technique. But for a robotic technique that's a very, very expensive technology, it's, it's understandable that it's a little more. I think it's exciting that we're, that we're moving the robots forward as they move uh, to even better and more efficient techniques and, and technology with robots. I think we'll see more and more people doing them. There's not an advantage in the artistry. That really comes down to the individual surgeon. So for now, I still think the best techniques come down to FUT techniques. Uh, for larger hair, in some smaller cases, FDE techniques. So I'm excited to talk about hair, and in general, the more you do, the less it costs, and it's certainly a very rewarding procedure. As always, it's my pleasure to help you stay looking your best. This is Dr. Corey Lawson.